So today we're going to do the Mr. and Mrs. Quiz. And we're going to answer questions because so many people still got questions for us. So we're going to make this fun. That way you can get to know a little bit about Tron, a little bit about me, how we met and the things we like about each other, maybe some of the pet peeves, you know. So it's going to be fun. So go ahead, babe. Our first kiss was when we got married at the courthouse. Yes, at the courthouse, yes. That was our first kiss. First time I locked lips with my baby. And he can stop kissing me, y'all. <laughs> what dream was that? And you kept kissing me, kept, kept kissing me. Yes. I don't remember that, babe. Yes. I went like this and... And I was ready to go to the store and get me a Pepsi. I believe the height. <laughs> anyway. I think one of our worst habits is uh, we eat a lot of ground beef. Yes. I think that's yeah. Yeah, we eat a lot of we eat a lot of ground beef. That's one thing I would say. And I, I tried to get Babe to come to the turkey side. But he wouldn't even give me a chance, you guys. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just like, maybe I should go vegetarian. I don't got to eat meat. So, what would you say, Babe? Our worst habits? I think we could be a little bit organized, both of us. No, why you got to throw me in there? Yeah, because, okay... I'm not the most organized okay. person. Okay, let's go look at the let's go look at the closet then. Don't embarrass me, babe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes you you're not organized either with certain stuff with your uh, your equipment, babe. And I love you. But yeah, he he has equipment everywhere. So if you date a photographer, married a photographer, be prepared for equipment to be everywhere. Equipment is everywhere because there's a lot of it. <laughs> Beautiful, fun, um, lovable. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. That's so sweet. His sister always said love makes him soft. Love got him softer. So she always <laughs> tell me. <laughs> All right. My three words for Tron describe him. You know, he is supportive. This is a godsend. You know, he's smart. Very, very smart. Yes. He comes up with so many ideas and his mind is always, you know, spinning around the wheel. Like that's how my mind is too. So he has all these ideas and he's talented. So that's that's what I give babe. The three things to describe him. I know y'all guys can agree. <laughs> Y'all better agree. <laughs> uh, Lord, was it? I'm going to say. Was it Wonder Woman? I'm going to say Wonder Woman, but no. no it's, it's, it has to be a, a Christian movie. One of those Christian movies from Netflix. Cause we watched them all. No, I know what it was. It was something we watched on Netflix, and it's called Conditional or Condition. And it was so sad because it was based on a true story. Um, the teacher of some little boys he ended up getting uh, what do you call it? He had something wrong with his kidneys, and then he ended up passing away. Or so it was just really sad. Yeah. We saw it, and then Babe went to sleep. Cause see, we we up some little boy. Yeah, his best friend was like a Caucasian lady, and he's a, a dark, uh, a black man, and he had little kids he's watching over or something. You talking, talking about the light skin guy with the green eyes? Yeah, 
Oh, you know what? I just started to watch that the other day. Yeah. And then I said, I've never seen this before. It's called Conditional or something, right? I forgot. Yeah, what's his name? Y'all know who we're talking about. Light-skinned dude with the green eyes that played in Barbershop. I don't, I don't know the name of it. That's the first movie we saw? Yeah. And okay. since I, I was in Colorado, he was in South Carolina. It was like late, maybe about 11 o'clock at night. And then Bay was like tired. I know he's dozing off there in the movie, but he didn't want to tell me. So after it hung, he's like, I'll spit to you later, woman of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> My pet name for her is Pumpkin. Sometimes I call her Pumpkin. Sometimes I call her Pumpkin Pie. <laughs> I call her Moshi. Or Tron Baby. Tron Baby or Husband Baby. <laughs> I'm like, hi, Husband Baby. Hi, Tron Baby. Or Moshi. Cause, but she's not even saying what y'all hear her say all the time. She's saying babe. Yeah, because Moshe is a Hebrew word from Moses. So. Yeah. I remember um, when we were recording, and you might can see this on the, the vlog. I think I put it on the vlog. Babe came to, uh, you know, court me at my parents' house when I was living there. And he brought me three dozen roses. Red roses, white roses, pink roses. And it was so beautiful, you guys. And this made me feel so special. And he gave me a little perfume and some chocolate. And he came over and spent time the whole day with me. And I didn't want him to leave. I was like, man, we gotta hurt him get married because I don't want you to leave. I love spending time with you. So, I would say my favorite gift that you got me was the t-shirt with Tron Moses photography on it. Yeah. And that's actually in the closet. You found it? I never lost it. I'd love to see you wear it. Yeah. But yeah, it's in the, it's in the closet. It's a long sleeve t-shirt. I got Tron Moses photography. Got my website on it? Mm -hmm. Then my website. Yeah. Yeah. My most embarrassing moment, I guess, well, since we've been together, um, was I get my keys in the car. I had just got there, closed the door. If I even went in the house to speak when she was at her, mother, her parents' house, I locked my keys in the car. And that was that was embarrassing for me, and um, yeah, the first time he met my parents, yeah, he parked yeah. this car weird. He parked his car like in the edge of the driveway, so if anybody wanted to try to come in the driveway, they couldn't because his car was in the way. So <laughs> it was in the middle of the driveway, to the towards the edge. It wasn't all the way up close to the house. But anyway, that's what I would say. I, um, yeah, I locked the keys in the car. I had to call, I had to call. Uh, had to look up on the internet somebody to come unlock it. And then God came. And that what video was that, babe? What video was that? I got engaged. I got engaged. Yeah. yeah. Got so engaged. you look at the I got engaged video, you'll see it wasn't blocking the driveway, but God had to come let me in the car and he talked my head off. And I realized that's why he was late getting to me, because he talked the last person head off. Yeah, but anyway. His phone. <laughs> we grab his phone. He loves that phone. I can't even really get to it. She wrong, y'all. Babe. If this was a challenge, she'd be wrong on that. I'm gonna grab that Nikon first because I ain't got I ain't got thousands of dollars to go get another one when I want to. I'm grabbing that Nikon first. Both of them. Both night comps. Well, I got our first baby in the fire. Your, games, your, your phone so you keep playing that stupid farm game? No, I would grab my kids first. Like, come on, kids. Babe, mm -hmm. we, we can replace them. Hmm? Have some more. Anyway, yes. Truthfully, I wouldn't, I mean, not that my phone wouldn't cross my mind, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I grab, I grab them cameras. Anyway.
It will be food. Spaghetti. Because <laughs> he loves spaghetti. We had it just tonight. She wrong, team. If I had to take one thing to a deserted island, it would be chitlins. What? You never liked it. He never even tried it. No, don't say that. Because when I, growing up, when I told you we were coming what? there, we had to eat everything on our plate. That's what they ate. You don't even know. You, you're not even sure if you had it or not. I guarantee you we had it. And you ate it. So you ate it. So you didn't have it. If one. I could take one thing on a deserted island, it would be my laptop. What? You use a computer over me? I'm talking about, I ain't talking about a human. It'd be my laptop. Was you me. you going you you said I would take food. Come on, I'm thinking about I'm I'm assuming food already there. But I want my laptop there. But how, how do you know they're gonna have? It's a deserted island. How do you know they're gonna have like internet, Wi-Fi access? If they don't, I got enough stuff on my computer to keep me busy. I'm gonna take my phone too. So my I got I got my own internet. I got my own Wi-Fi on my phone. Will be the one item you take. If I had to take one thing on the deserted island, it would be okay. It would be my husband. He had to come with me, y'all. Yeah. If I had to take one thing on the deserted island, it had, it was it's gonna be my husband. Same. I don't believe that. Yes. That's why I won't, I won't be spending that time alone. All right, so I pray you guys enjoyed this video. You know, we were just having fun answering questions. So, you guys, if you have any other questions that you want to ask Toronto me, you know, put it down in the comment, in the, in the section below. All right, we love you guys. Thank you for watching. Deuces.